This is a GoPro Hero 10. This is a GoPro Hero 11. Makes no difference which camera. I have here is a pass-through door by Susun. I have here is the official door. What I would do is take the battery out, remove it to the side. Now, I'm not going to do it. I'll take a tissue. I'll put a tissue inside. I'll line up the door, snap it on, and close it. Listen to the click. Did you hear the click? My door is closed. No, it's not. I see over here a lip. I need to push down and secure it 100%. We all know that over here, if you open up, you see red, orange. The door is open. Now, when we put a battery in, and I'll explain what the tissue would do. When we put the battery in, and it's in 100%, this foam over here pushes against the battery to secure it in. As you can see, we have just a little bit of play. My battery may be in wrong. So let's pull the battery out, and correctly install it. My battery now is incorrect. Still, that foam is gonna push against the battery. What I do is I take my thumb. I feel my fingerprint hitting the door. I feel the click. I'm pressing right here, right over here. And then I'm rolling the door close. I know my door is closed, so I'm gonna open up again. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to make sure I'm closed. I'm gonna look. It looks 100% closed. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You're going to take the battery out. You're going to put a tissue, fold it up nice and neat. And you're going to feel how the door closes. And you can see the play right here. Look at that play. See that play? iPhone's supposed to be the best thing in the world, man. It's supposed to focus on everything. Look at that play. If I take the battery into the camera, that play is still there. What I'm trying to say is when you take the tissue and put the tissue in and you measure, measure over here how deep this is. And say it's 1.75 centimeters, argument's sake. Fill water up to one. 75 centimeters. You're going to take the camera, you're going to place it in the water. You're going to leave it there. Then you're going to pull it out. And then you're going to open it up. And you're going to look to see if the tissue's wet. And that tells you if there is a leak. But this is what we do when we take our camera. We put our battery in, after we charge, we close up. We need to inspect all over here. Let me just do this. Let me bring this camera down a little. There I go, resting my hands on the table. We look over here, it's nice and clean, clean, no debris, we're good to go. My door is closed. I'm ready to go in the water. Now, after I get out of the water, what do we do? We don't open up the door. What we need to do, we need to dry our camera off. My camera came on. We need to dry our camera off. We need to shake it. We need to then take a little towel, get a little dry. Make sure the water is not sitting anywhere on the line. Make sure water is not sitting in here. If water is sitting in here, this is where water is going to go. Into the camera, because this is where water likes to collect. 
in here. And when the water overflows into the camera, then you say, oh, look, my camera's wet inside. If the camera ever gets wet with water, ingest with water, ingest, soaked, drowned, filled with water, say goodbye to your camera. It'd be behind the screen, it'd be in here, it'd be in the speaker, the microphone, and so forth. This is a drain hole. This drain hole allows the water to get out of this speaker area because this area goes in here for wind and out. Water will collect in here and water will collect in here. So now we have another issue that a member is talking about. So there you go. I just want to make sure that when you put your battery in, the door goes on, put your thumb over here, push up, lock in. It should be just a little play. And then you could go dunk your camera. You feel that door is not to your liking? Go buy a dive house. GoPro will not warranty water damage without a subscription. And that is why a subscription is important.